All right, I'm gonna give a tutorial on how to take the front sight, this is the factory sight, off of a Feinberg bow 300S. Uh, there's not much information, there's a pin up here that you, I'll show you in a second what's uh, a little bit different about it, and it has to be the correct way when it goes back on. All right, so I've got the rifle on a little plank here, a little board plank, just to hold it up off the table. And there's a pin right here, and this is the right-hand side of the rifle, which is the uh, the side with the cocking lever on it. If this front sight um, is put on correctly to start with, you can take a punch, make sure it's the right size, set on the, that pin, and take a, uh, a little mallet, this is a little ball-peen hammer, and just you should be able to just tap it and that pin will almost just fall out, okay? Now, if you look closely at this pin, there's a flat on it, and it's tapered. There's a small end of the flat and a larger end. The rest of it's just round, but that flat right there, and I'll show you uh, how it goes back in in a second. But anyway, once you get that pin out, this sight, it may be kind of stiff. I've, got my, I've had this off before, so it's oiled up. Uh, when I rebuilt the rifle, but if you just kind of twist off you may have to really just twist and pull and twist and pull Until the front sight comes off now some sights on these 300s uh, This one has the uh, hole in the bottom some are on the top There's a hole up here and in the barrel if you guys can see that There's a slot right here uh, the 300s that have the slot on the top, on the bottom, um, this one's on the bottom. I noticed that the junior models have a slot on both sides, so you can use uh, quite a few different sights on it. So let's uh, let's see how to put it back on now. It's kind of just opposite. If you haven't figured that out, but same way you hold on to the, the barrel, slide it on. You may have to give it a little twist, and you line. That hole back up with that slot. Now we're gonna have to flip the gun over to put the pin back in the correct way. All right. So right now I'm looking through. This hole is lined up with the slot. We're on the uh, left-hand side of the rifle now. All right. I call it the driver's side. Now here's the important part. See this pin? The flat, the wider flat surface has to go in first, all right? And that'll go against the barrel side where the slot is. So this pin is gonna go right down in here, just like this. And you can push it in with your finger. I forgot to mention, you might wanna oil the barrel up if you haven't yet in this area so it slides on easy. So this pin will push down in with your finger. Now what I like to do after that's right there is to take your punch and your mallet and just give it a little bit of, just give it just a light tap and that sinks it home. And uh, it'll be about even on both sides. Now, you can put this pin in backwards or from the other side. Um, you don't want to do that. If, you're, if you buy one of these rifles and the sight is a little bit crooked and you don't know why, that pin's backward. Remove everything, put the pin in the correct way just like I showed you. Alright, so that's it for the tutorial. Thanks for watching.